Now while you're watching this video, please remember to like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notification of future videos and share this video also. Thank you. Well hello there, welcome back to my channel guys. Yes, so today I have another video, exciting video for you. No, this video that I'm posting it should have been posted yesterday, Wednesday, right? So what's going to happen is that I'm going to have another video posted later, which will be today's video. The reason why this is posted today, um, Wednesday, why this is posted Thursday when it should have been posted yesterday. Yesterday when I reached home, I was talking to someone, right, for a good length of time. And then I went on a Zoom meeting by the study, which lasted a good length of time. And by the time I finished... And wanted to record the video I was overtaken by sleep right I was overtaken by sleep hence why I'm doing the video now so nevertheless it's going to be a short video so I think I can actually afford to upload this in the morning and the next video later because both of them will be short right now um, what we'll be talking about talking about today as you can see the title suggests forgiveness forgiving yourself and forgiving others right which is harder and i really want a comment from you guys where this is concerned you know because i find this as an interesting um thing to talk about aspect of forgiveness you know forgiveness would be classified i would say as a social issue and so i would it, it, it was supposed to post yesterday we are okay we are talk about social issue if the need arise now forgiveness affects just about every one of us right whether it be forgiving ourselves and forgiving others and the lack of it can often result in um it, it can often bring devastating results right by not being able to forgive someone for the hurt or the wrong that they have done to you it can cause bitterness right and it can cause so many other things which i don't think i'll be able to explain in this video right it sometimes causes violence right it sometimes causes vengeance it sometimes causes hate you know where people carry hate inside of them and so forth so this is something necessary for us as human beings in order for us to give the love that the bible tells us to give and you will find that the lack of forgiveness it will ultimately create barriers right where giving love is concerned but I, I i thought about this subject you know and i was saying to myself i always see the bible mention about us forgiving each other as god and christ forgave us right but I've never seen in the scriptures where it talks about us forgiving ourselves. I may be wrong, you know, right? But it's just that nothing comes to mind where the Bible teaches us to forgive ourselves. And I suppose that the reason why it doesn't mention that is because um, it is expected that we forgive ourselves knowing that God forgave us, right? So I suppose that's the reason why it never mentioned anything about us forgiving ourselves right and let me just say this i've come to understand by experience that forgiving ourselves is sometimes harder than forgiving someone because the truth of the matter is you know someone may do something to you and that person may some um one day be um vanished from out of your life you know it may be a friend a friend that you had and you lost that connection with that friend and you end up not seeing that friend again so what happens the person is out of your life right many times the people who hurt us are out of end up out of our lives we have no contact with them we can cut them off then so to speak and eventually with time we may even forget about it right but forgiving ourselves is so hard and it's because of this we we can't get away the reason for this is not is because we can't get away from ourselves when we can get away from people, it's like every time you go to the bathroom, you know, you're freshening up, brush your teeth, wash your face, you're seeing yourself. You cannot hide from yourself. 
right? You cannot hide from yourself, and this is what makes forgiving forgiveness of um, oneself harder than forgiving others. And you know, not being able to forgive ourselves sometimes results in us harming ourselves. You know, when I say harming ourselves, I'm talking about committing suicide. Like take for instance Judas. Right when Judas come to the realization what is greed and everything and what it caused that it caused the life of Christ he could not forgive himself right and as a result of that he took his own life he took his own life as a result of that not being able to forgive himself and what I'm going to emphasize on you know in this video right is that to not forgive oneself is basically to reject God's forgiveness of you. Let me repeat that. To not forgive oneself is basically to reject God's forgiveness of you. If you know that God forgives you of what you did, right? Why not forgive yourself? Because when you commit an offense, you know, the highest person that you can offend, you know, is basically God, you know. So once God forgive you, and even if you hurt someone in this lifetime, right? And um, you find it hard to forgive yourself for what you did. Because sometimes, you know, we're not perfect. We do things to people, and, you know, we end up being sorry about it, right? Whenever you hurt someone, you basically hurt God, you know. You hurt the lawgiver who says, who is love in and of itself, right? Who says that you should love one another because the bible says that god is love he that love it not his brother love it not god right because god is love so when you hurt someone you basically hurt god so once god forgives you you know right you need to understand because you see sometimes in life you know when we hurt persons you know we are oftentimes not given opportunity to um reconcile right sometimes we're not given opportunity to reconcile with a person and the guilt of it may sometimes eat us eat us out right and unless we reach the point where we say to ourselves hey god forgives me so let me try to let me forgive myself it can have it can have serious impact in terms of emotional your emotional health and your mental health and even your spiritual health it can affect you in these eras right the lack of forgiveness of oneself and I'm telling you this because I'm speaking from experience, right? Because even while I'm telling this to you, you know, I know that it's not going to be easy. But I believe that in time, you, all of us will be able to forgive ourselves of the things that we have done. Like me, there are many things that I struggle forgiving myself for, right? Sometimes I struggle to forgive myself in putting myself in the space that would cause persons to either hurt me or to cause myself to get disappointed I blame myself for putting myself in that space and allowing that to happen to me so sometimes I still struggle to forgive myself sometimes I struggle to forgive myself for being weak growing up having low self-esteem right which resulted in low self-confidence I have a video on that where I talk about my self-esteem right sometimes i blame myself for not rising above um my situation and and you know not letting anybody define me and so forth and as a result of that it affected me through my throughout my lifetime i may have gotten over it you know and uh, uh, and get a, a a high self-esteem now you know but what was the cause of me having that the cause is still there you know what it resulted in right in me missing out on a lot of things I sometimes still blame myself for it. I blame myself for even um, getting involved in the whole Seventh day Adventism, right? And the implications, the things that resulted from it, sometimes it's really hard to live it down. I blame myself sometimes for persons that I have hurt in my life, right? Yes, I've been able to make reconciliation, right, with just about every one of them, right? Recently, I've been able to make reconciliation with a place that I used to work, right? When I was a Seventh-day Adventist and the, and the amount of things that happened at that workplace because of me, quote-unquote, upholding God's law. 
right leaving my job and so forth and in some ways i would say that i disrespected them or style them but in my sincerity and ignorance i thought i was standing yes in my sincerity and ignorance i thought i was standing up for god right yes i thought i was standing up for god in my sincerity and ignorance so and when I was speaking to my, my previous supervisor at that place and we were talking about it, I had to tell her how sorry, how sorry I am. Because now that my reason, it's almost as if my mind wasn't my own, you know, when I was a Seventh-day Adventist. When I came out, you know, and, and it's like my reason come back to me now, I just had to acknowledge to her that my actions were not right at all, you know. And I remember telling her how, I, w I was asking her if she could go to the board and I just give an apology for me, right? Just go to the board and give an apology, uh, an, an apology for me because sometimes it eats, when I tell you that it eats me out to know that a company had been so gracious and good to me because my boss then, you know, he takes good care of his workers and to see that I repay them the way that I repay them, right, even though it was in ignorance and the sincerity of my heart, it still eats me out and it doesn't matter how many, how much time I tell myself that kiss my heart, that was you then and you didn't know what you were doing, it's like the guilt is sometimes hard to live down. I'm just giving an example, you know, I have, I have many other cases where I blame myself sometimes and it's hard to really live it down right it's hard to really live it down guys so i know what the feeling is like to not be able to forgive yourself but i believe that it will take it will take time there are even times in a way um knowing that i have made reconciliation with people is like the thoughts still come back to my mind of the things that i did right and it would for a little time that little space there it give me some form of guilt trip and so forth and hey if you are going through this now you know you're not alone if you study the life of the apostle paul he would often times talk about his past so i believe that he struggled too where that is concerned guilt in forgiving his him himself for the things that he did i believe that even peter too might have been truly um to the same thing can you imagine when he saw christ now after he was risen right just imagine how how he must have felt knowing that he denied him when he needed him despite his boast and his talk when he needed him he was not there but it happens to all of us guys forgive for, 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 the forgiveness of us of our own self it happens to all of us right and if this is just my opinion this is not to say that to forgive oneself is harder than to forgive others it's not gospel right nor is it facts it is just my opinion and i'm saying that i find it harder to forgive myself than to forgive others but guys it is necessary right it is necessary for you to forgive yourself for your own mental spiritual and emotional health you are to learn to forgive yourself just as much as you forgive others you forgive you forgive others because God tells you to, right? And if you don't forgive others, God won't forgive you, right? God tells you to do that. So, but God doesn't mention about you forgiving yourself. Nevertheless, it is expected that you would actually do that, knowing that God forgives you. Just try to look at it that, yes, you grew, right? So, celebrate the fact that you, grow, you have grown right and no longer look at your past actions that's not you anymore you're wiser now you're more loving now right you're a child of god as long as i keep these things in mind i think it should actually help you right in learning to forgive yourself now i know sometimes we must say to ourselves that recently i was thinking and i'm saying to myself boy I, I'm not a person who make the same mistake twice. I actually learn from my mistake. But the problem that I have with myself is that while I may not make the same mistake, I will make another mistake. And I just keep on making mistakes. It's like my life is just full of mistake. But then I encourage myself by saying that if we were to not make mistakes 
in life then we would there, there would be no growth i mean there would be no fun in life if everything was just all perfect for us and none of us are perfect life would be no no fun right there'll be little meaning because there'll be there'll be little there'll be little space to grow if we are always doing the right things so think of it this way guys for our growth it is necessary that we make mistakes and learn from them right and what you should celebrate is the growth and not the mistakes in and of itself celebrate the fact that you have grown right and that you have learned from those mistakes and having made those, those mistakes use it as a catalyst then so to speak to help you to um to motivate you to trust in god more and to allow god to 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 lead your life because my mistakes you know some of them are so deep that i said to myself that god it's time now that i i allow you to lead my life because mistakes has its good you know and let me give you one mis one one mi common mistake that i often make relationship mistakes it's like i'm so dumb sometimes when i realize i can't make proper decision to actually save myself i realize sometimes i do some things and i and i, and I curse myself kiss smart you know that you're very naive and stupid though you should actually be thinking about these these, these things you know because if you were you would not have made these kind of mistakes but what 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 it in what it inspired in me is a lack of trust in myself and this is why I'm still single to this day, you know, because I don't trust myself. I really don't trust myself to make a proper decision in saying, hey, she's the person for me. I've lost all trust whatsoever in myself. If I had trusted myself, I probably would be quoting someone right now. But I'm so fearful of my own self when I realize the dumb things that, I'm, that I did and some simple things that I should have considered. You know, I'm saying to myself, kiss my you're just so naive. I'm like, God, I can't do this. I'm not smart enough to make a proper decision. So you do the job for me. Get the gist? So this is one of the benefits in making some serious mistakes. It, it causes you to lose trust in yourself and to put your trust in God. And once you put your trust in God, you know, and your confidence in God, there is nothing to stop you. So I'm going to end on this note, right? Learn to forgive yourself just as much as you forgive others. If you can forgive others, how much more should you forgive your own self? You matter, right? Yes, so I end this video. I do hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned later for another amazing video like this. Bye-bye now.